All right, so concentrations and volumes of two solutions. And so in this section, what they mean by two solutions is a solution before dilution and a solution after dilution. So you're, you're taking the, some, some solution, like 100 milliliters of a, let's say, 10% um, sodium chloride solution. And <coughs> you're going to dilute it. So let's talk about what this means, this 10% sodium chloride solution. Can I figure out how much of that 100 milliliters is sodium chloride? Well, 10%. How do we find 10% of 100? Well, there's a few ways that you can do it. Um, <coughs> you can just, if you know what percent is, you can just straight up use this idea of percent. 10 per, 10 percent equals 10 per 100. So to find 10 percent of 100 milliliters, we would take 10 percent of means to multiply 100 milliliters times 10 percent equals 100 milliliters times 10 per 100. And we reduce that fraction, right? The hundreds cancel and we end up with 10 milliliters. So of our 100 milliliters, just 10 milliliters of that solution is sodium chloride. Okay. okay, so what happens if we dilute it? So say I do a 1 to 2 dilution on that. So you can go through the calculations of this, right? That means I have one part sodium chloride of my sodium chloride, 100 milliliters of sodium chloride solution um, to two parts total volume. So that means I'm going to add one part of my 10 percent sodium chloride solution, and let's say we're using water, and one part water. All right. So if I have 100 milliliters of uh, sodium chloride, and I want to use all of it, of my 10% sodium chloride solution, I would add another 100 milliliters of water, right? It's one part to one part means I add the same amount. So I'm going to add another 100 milliliters of water. And this is going somewhere, I promise. So if I add another 100 milliliters of water, I now have 10, did the amount of sodium chloride that I've got in there change? No, it stays the same. I'm diluting it. I'm adding, I'm increasing the total volume. So now I've got 10 milliliters in two, or 10 milliliters of sodium chloride in 200 milliliters of water, which means I now have a 5 how did I figure that out? 10 divided by 200. I guess I should write that down. So now I have a 5% concentration. And I have 200 milliliters of that 5%. Sodium chloride solution. So and if we check it out, if we take the 5% and multiply by the 200, we still get back to the 10. So what we're going to exploit in this section is that the amount of the substance that we're talking about, the pure substance in there, doesn't change. The percent changes, the volume changes. As the volume changes, what happens to the percent, right? our substance gets diluted further and our percentage goes down. Because remember, the percent is parts per 100. Um, <coughs> percent represents part of a whole, or what fraction of a, of a whole. Uh, so, this is the idea that we're going to use in this section. So if I take, if I look at after diluting and I take the um, amount, the volume, which we're going to call V2, V for volume and 2 for the second uh, amount, um, and I take the percent, five percent, and I multiply them together, I should get the same as if I took what I started with, the concentration, 
10%, and multiply by the original volume that I had, 100 milliliters. So we're, we're going to use this formula where the V1 is the original volume that I started with, the C for concentration, uh, the 1 for w beginning, right, the first concentration that you had, and we multiply those together, that should equal, that, that gives us the amount, right, that gives us the 10 milliliters, that gives us the amount we have. It's still the same, even though we dilute it, we're not changing the amount, pure amount of the substance we have. It should be equal to if I take the volume after I dilute and multiply by that smaller percentage after I diluted. So we're going to use this, this formula. You can, you can memorize it or you can just remember this idea that regardless of whether I dilute, no matter how much I dilute, the amount that 10 milliliters is going to stay the, stay the same. And we're going to use this equality, this equation, to solve a few different problems in this section.